Hello everyone, it's Scoose, and today I'm going to be showing you what's been going on with Mind Blast. Uh, fair warning, I do have a bit of a runny nose, so uh, we'll have to make do with that. But um, this week's updates were all about taking Mind Blast from a demo to a game. Everything I've been doing this week has been stuff like bug fixes or stuff like making the giant spider attack the player. Additionally, I've added the menus to the game, and I've also added uh, save files, which... I'm still working on, but at this point the game is fully playable from start to finish, and uh, I don't think it has too many bugs. It has a few bugs, but not a lot of bugs. So let's just hop straight into it. I wanted to show you the um, the launch for the game. Here you can see the uh, main menu. I'm planning to throw in a uh, logo for the game. Uh, but I haven't done that yet, mostly because I'm thinking about potentially renaming the game. Uh, the thing about Mind Blast is I feel like it's kind of a stereotypical name. It doesn't really carry a whole lot of meaning. Um, I have some ideas that I'm throwing around. I'll probably be announcing a new name for the game in the next devlog. Uh, but for now, you have uh, four buttons uh, with some nice little audio sounds. Um, I think I'll start off with the settings menu. Uh, this is a little bit uh, work in progress. You can just do stuff like uh, disable the FPS counter or enable it. Uh, you can turn VSync on and off, uh, which if I show FPS, if I turn on VSync, then the FPS will drop down to 60. If I turn that back off, it'll shoot back up to 500. You can also do stuff like adjust the uh, volume for the game. So like you can turn the music off, for example, although I don't know why you'd want to do that because this music is completely epic. This music is actually done by uh, one of my friends and uh, he's actually the one who um, has also been playtesting it a bunch this week. Props to uh, my friend here. He's played this game through and lost his progress about 6, 10, 15 times so uh, thank you for that. Um, I'll definitely be adding him to the credits when I get to making those. Um, but anyways you can also do stuff like launch the game with a console. When the game is finished if you want to launch it with a console you can do that here. Uh, the console is this little window which has all of the debug stuff. The next option is loading a game. So in the load game menu you can see we have all of the uh, save files that I've created uh, for testing purposes. And you can scroll through them and pick one to load. I'm not going to do that because I think all of these save files are outdated and uh, don't really work. So instead I'm going to start a new game and I just want to give you a little bit of a sneak, like somewhat of a sneak peek of the very start of the game. Uh, testing, one, two, three, um, okay, uh, hello, uh, assuming that you aren't, you know, dead from passing through a gas well during your descent, on behalf of the Washington government, I would like to welcome you to your new home for the next few months. In accordance with section 125F, paragraph 12 of the Labor's Act of 1923, I am hereby required to ensure that you have had a safe transit to your mining chamber. The easiest way to ensure that you are alive at such depths is to monitor your movement using state-of-the-art technology. For this reason, we ask you to please walk over to the lever, locate it to your right, and pull it. Okay, next order of business. Uh, you should have received a pickaxe in the prep room. Uh, this pickaxe is your tool to fulfilling your quota. The Vorstikin government has been so kind as to allow miners to participate in a mandatory quota fulfillment program. As part of this program, please make your way to one of the walls of the chamber and strike any ores you see there with your pickaxe. Assuming that the ore dislodges from the wall and doesn't explode, you will then proceed to complete your quota by placing the ore inside the elevator. This completes your orientation. You are now free to explore your mining space. And please, do not under any circumstances create any tools, blocks, or other potentially useful items using the ores that you mine. Especially explosives. Do not craft explosives. Vorstika thanks you for your cooperation. To a prosperous and successful Vorstika. Thought you all would enjoy that, just that little sneak peek into the, uh, into the, uh, game. Uh, not just the game, uh in terms of the gameplay, but also the game in terms of the lore, because I've been doing a lot of lore building this week. I'm actually pretty happy with how this week turned out, because at this point, I do have a fully playable game. Um, it also does create save files, as you can see, if I have this little tunnel. 
um, I can uh, exit to the main menu, load the game. Uh, if I can find it, do save demo, load it, and I'm right back where I uh, where I was. Um, I can also close the game and have the same effect. Uh, that's because when I when I exit to the main menu, the game actually goes into your computer's app data um, and creates uh, its own save file. So you can see here, here's all the saves for all of my different games. For, so for example, this is a SKU save demo. So I have two files that I've created. Uh, so this save file has a total uh, size of 16 megabytes. Some of them I've played a little longer, so the chunks.map is gonna be a little bit larger. Uh, this coming week, I'm going to be uh, actually in uh, Florida, I'm going on a little bit of, I guess you could call it vacation. So I won't be able to work on the programming for the game. However, the great thing about this game is that I've actually been collaborating with some friends. So for example, my art guy is going to be uh, hard at work. Uh, I'm going to have uh, my other friend who I mentioned who did the music. He's going to be playing the game like crazy, looking for bugs. I'm hoping in my wildest dreams that I should be able to get this game out in two weeks time. I think that that's... That's, that would be pushing it maybe a little bit, but I think that that's uh, completely doable. So I'll hit you guys up with a, another devlog next week, but it's not going to be stuff like, hey, I added new features. It's going to be more stuff like, hey, uh, look, we now have uh, new updated artwork for everything, and the game now looks good. So so I think that basically concludes everything that I've done this week. Thank you all for uh, following my progress, and um, I will see you all next week then.